Hey Bubble family, welcome back to the channel. No, uh, now, uh, no, now, as you seem to be very happy with my rants, I'm going to give you another one. Today, my rant is about Dr. Shola, is it Moss Shogbamimu? Uh, don't know if I've said that right, I probably haven't, and I'm really, really sorry. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, but I'm pretty sure most of you know who I'm talking about because she seems to have come out of the woodwork when the whole thing with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry started, when when Meghan started to race bait and say that the, the British royal family um, were racist or they've got unconscious bias. Um, and so, of course, she's come out and decided to utilise this to get herself a bigger platform. And of course, what's happened, she started again when she's attacked Prince William, who um, in their latest tour, he apologised and basically said that, you know, the slave trade was abhorrent and should never have happened um, and, and spoke out about it. But of course, nothing's good enough. Nothing's good enough for Shola, nothing. Um, I think it wouldn't matter what anyone did in regards to the royal family. She has made it her mission to speak out against them. She has made it her mission to attack Britain, even though she lives in the same country. But what I find absolutely hypocritical is that she is of Nigerian descent. Her ancestors are Nigerian. And in Nigeria, in Ni Nigeria, Nigeria, there, of course, was the slave trade. And there have been a lot of stories that have come out about Nigerians who openly admitted to selling African slaves across the Atlantic. How can you get more hypocritical when she's basically stating that the, the, the white people should apologise for uh, the sins of their past, their ancestors, um, even if it doesn't matter if you actually had or did not have ancestors who were amongst the slave trade, you should still apologise for being basically white. Um, and then not only that, the, the royal family who were part of the biggest movement to abolish slave trade, but should still apologise for the fact that obviously they were part of the, the, the colonial slave trade, even though they helped abolish it. I... I I feel so angry about this woman because I feel like, again, she's come out of nowhere. She's race baiting and utilising this as a platform to create herself to have a bigger voice. And let's face it, what a big voice she does have. And not because she's got something actually that's pretty intelligent to say, um, because even though in some aspects she does make some valid points, however, it gets ruined by the fact that she will not allow anyone else to speak. She has to shout. She has to become aggressive. She has to shout people down. She has to create them to feel small um, and to not have their own voice because everyone is entitled to their own opinion. You can agree, you can disagree. You can, you know, come to somewhere in the middle. But with her, she feels this need to think that her voice is the only important voice that needs to be heard. And so whenever someone, like recently, there was an interview with her with Jeremy Vine and she tried to shoot him down. And he's quite right in what he's saying. So basically she's saying that, you know, what the royal family do is not good enough. Prince William apologising isn't good enough. Um, and so basically Jerry, Jeremy Vine has basically said, well, why should he, why should he keep apologising? He wasn't there. He, he didn't have slaves. He wasn't there. And I agree. Why do we have to feel that we have to consistently apologise for what was in the past? Yes, it's part of our history. Should it have happened? No, but it did. It was of its time. But there are huge stories that have come out in regards to a lot of people that come across that were not um, in, their, in their country, were not... Um, very well off, in fact, really, really struggled. And a lot of them utilised part of the slave trade to come across, to come to America or England to start a new life. And a lot of them have openly stated they were actually happy in their employment. You know, they worked within the family home of somebody, whether it's, you know, the, the, a, a very more well-to-do family, but they were treated very well. Then they were given land, um, you know, and in England, obviously, the slave trade was abolished and, the, um, and slaves were freed. You know, 
I, I struggle with this consistent need to live in the past, which people like Shola seem to do because I'm not being funny. She's done pretty well for herself. Now I'm not, I, I, I can't speak for her and I can't say that whether or not she struggled at some points um, due to the colour of her skin, she might well have done. And that's her right if she's got an argument based on that. But that is against the people that have done that to her. You know, whether it be particular people, whether it's school, whether it's um, a work work environment, you know, that's that's down to those people. You know, I do find it very frustrating when we are all targeted and put in the same bracket. Um, you know, that because of the colour of my skin, I have to apologise for being white. Um, I'm not going to apologise for being white. At the end of the day, um, whether you believe in God or whatever you believe, you know, God gave me this who I am. You know, what I do with that is then my choice. Um, you know, if I choose to be a good person, I choose to be a good person. If I choose to not be a good person and and to bully and be um, be a nice and be not very nice, then then that's the that's the choice I've made. But I haven't chosen that. I've chosen to hopefully be a good person, to be kind, um, to be there for people. You know, but what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to apologise for something that my ancestors did, possibly. I don't know. I haven't traced it back. I don't know. But or people who did have slaves who were white, um, because that was nothing to do with me. Should it have happened? No. Do I feel for those people? Absolutely. But it's but it's nothing to do with me. Um, but then that's no different. Like I've said before, like I've said, Nigerian should, well, then she should apologise. If she's basically stating that white people should apologise for being white because some, some, some people back way, way back then had slaves. Well, then so should she. She should apologise for the Nigerian slave trade, for the Nigerians that had slaves and sold them, sold, sold Africans across the Atlantic to America or, or Europe. You know, but I don't see her standing up and doing that. Why? Why? You know, and no offence, but there were there have been white slaves, you know. So so for the people that had white slaves, should they stand up and apologise for the sins of their ancestors? No. All we can do is move forward. But for people like Shola, she seems so stuck in the past. It's like she's got this bit between her teeth and it's like she's refusing to let go. She is refusing to um, move forward. You know, things are never going to get better if you don't stop going on about the past. You know, things are changing. Could they be better? Of course they could. But you could say the same about homophobia. You know, it has improved, but there's still elements and still certain, even in the States, certain countries in the States where it's not accepted. You know, certain people don't accept it. You know, you can say that about anything, you know, women still, you know, if we're going to really be kind of pick holes and everything, you know, there are certain places where women are still not as accepted as other people, you know. So as men, even, you know, all we can do is learn. All we can do is grow, you know, but but all she seems to want to do is is race bait and stay stuck because why? Because it's the only thing that she's got. It's the only argument that she's got. And why these people keep giving her airtime, I really, really don't know. I really don't know. It's a bit like how we keep giving Meghan Markle, you know, people like Meghan airtime, Harry airtime, you know, to talk about the, the, the constant BS that they talk about. If you have something valid to say, absolutely. And like I say, there are certain points that she does have an argument. However, so do other people, but she doesn't give them the chance to have that argument. She just shouts them down. I, for one, think, Shola, you need to come down off your high horse. I think you need to actually look at your own ancestors and your own background before you start actually pointing the finger and judging other people. Maybe you try and be better instead of attacking and being aggressive and putting other people down. Maybe you try and be better. Be a better example to your own children because at the moment you're not. You're quite a shocking example. So... That is my rant of today. 
so I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys will join me for another one. So I'm, I'm not sure I might call these M's rants. I don't know. Uh, rant of the day with M's. <laughs> you know, if you have something that you would like me to have a rant about, then please, you know, feel free to put that in the comments below. Um, give me some examples. I will obviously choose one and I will try and do a couple a week. I will still do my videos. That I normally do like I've got one coming um, tomorrow which is about commitment, where I asked you some questions, asked you to ask me some questions, which I've answered. So that is going to be going up tomorrow. I have got my live with Trev on Saturday at 7.30 UK time. So please come and join us if you have nothing better to do. In the meantime, have a great rest of the day, rest, rest of the week. And as always, thank you for everyone who has bought me a cup of tea, to everyone who is supporting what I'm doing here. Um, I love you all. And I will see you very soon. Bye, Bubble family.